Good evening, good evening. Hello, Magdalena. Hello, teacher. Hello, are you ready to start tonight? So, so, teacher. <laughs> so, so, so. I hope that you are going to do a great job. Yes, teacher. Haré lo que puede. Yo creo que lo importante no es ni memorizárselo, sino que hablar como lo que he aprendido. <laughs> exactly. That's what I want you to do. Because I need to see how much you have learned in this month. That's what, that is the objective. Yes. Okay, so we're going to wait a little bit, as always, because we're still missing like three minutes to eight. Yes. Okay. Meanwhile, you can continue practicing, Maria Magdalena. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, practice. More practice. practice. More, practice. More practice, okay. Cuando ya estén todos por acá, entonces vamos a dar inicio, ¿ok? Ok, bo. more practice. Ok, Mary. Good evening, Ileana. Good evening, Claudia. Good evening, Gabriela. Dalila, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Are you ready for the activity we are having tonight? Yes, I do. Great. 
Hello, Lourdes. Hello, teacher. Hello, hope you are more than ready for tonight. We're gonna we're gonna start as soon as possible. Hello, Juan Carlos. How's everything there? Hello, teacher. Hello, are Good. you ready? Are you ready with the activity for tonight? Más o menos. <laughs> I hope. I nervous. Nervous. Are you nervous? Yes. Uh... Uh, don't be nervous, okay? Because that is going to affect your presentation, okay? Be confident. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know you can do it. Same to you, Lourdes. Are you ready? Uh, yes. Yes, okay. I'm nervous. And you are nervous also. Okay, <laughs> so to, to, <laughs> tonight we're going to see a lot of surprises, right? Yeah, but just for you to take it easy, okay? Um... Well, I, I I will I will try to make some time for the rest of the people because because I want everybody to to participate tonight and and we only hello. have hello hello Idalia hello are you ready yes excellent yes. excellent Idalia we're gonna see your presentation tonight hope you have okay. been hope you have been practicing a lot. I can see Carlos David also. Well, I have uh, 10 people. I will check list attendance. And after checking list attendance, we're going to start, okay? And at the end, if we still have some time, well, I have a couple of activities there. that are gonna be very useful to have some review about everything we have studied so far. Uh, Alejandra, Maria. Aristides, Carlos David, present teacher, Cesar, present teacher, Claudia Margarita, eh. Eh, Claudia Margarita, you there? Ah, no, pues no. No, Con Concepción de Lourdes, present, okay. Dalila. Present teacher. Elena Marisol. Elena. Gabriela. Present teacher. Idalia. Present teacher. Iliana. Present teacher. Ingrid. Ingrid Morena. Eh, Juan Carlos. I hear teacher. Crisia Morena. Eh, Liliana. María Magdalena. Present teacher. Olga Lisset. Present teacher. Rina Margarita. En Wendy. Aristides present teacher. Ah, Aristides here. Rina, Rina Margarita. Gracias. Okay. okay. Rina and Wendy. Wendy Beatriz. So Wendy is not out here either. Well, don't worry, because I will check it later. Well, I think it's quite important for, for us to start with the activities we are facing tonight. Uh, Claudia Margarita, I'm here. I have problems with my connection. Okay, Claudia Margarita, I saw it. I saw your message. I can see you're connected tonight. <laughs> okay, people. Uh, well, we're going to start as soon as possible. I have 14 people uh, connected. I think we are missing like four participants. Okay, but I consider it's time to start with the activity we have been uh, working on during the last the last days, right? Because I told you since the since the last week we we were, we were supposed to have a knowledge check about everything we have been studying lately. 
So we'll let's start with Maria Magdalena. Better me, teacher. <laughs> okay, everybody. Now, pay attention, and um, we're going to see a great day for everybody's done so far. Okay. Good evening, teacher and classmate. I am going to talking about my experience when I uh, visited to Costa Rica. Uh, I I am how travel to Costa Rica. Uh, I visited to Costa Rica for work. The the company have sent us to tra to to training when 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 where uh, arrive uh, at uh, the airport in Costa Rica there was taxis waiting us as they uh, as to hotel the first day I remember we stayed in the hotel. We slept in the in the afternoon uh, then uh, we have dinner. The second day um, we 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 work up uh took a uh, took a shower uh, then i uh, we have uh for dinner uh, for breakfast in the hotel after water we went to a stranding uh, after uh, my friends and i i visited uh, many restaurants uh, in costa rica their typical food is gallo pinto it's uh, what it's what we 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 know uh, as rice and beans in El Salvador. Uh, we uh, we went uh, for five um, days. Uh, as I mentioned, af after the stay in the hotel. I don't remember the name, but I remember uh, the room to bed, uh, a refrigeration, a um, TV, a coffee make, um, etc. Um, we we would we we would have light. Uh, to know uh, is beach we we will do on us next visit uh, this this tip uh, was uh, the beautiful uh, visit only that teacher and classmate fantastic mary fantastic great effort congratulations okay Clap your effort, right? Clap your effort. Thank okay. you. Juan Carlos, your opportunity is just right now. Well, good evening. And in this model, model I learned many, many things. For example, how use, how use, uh, no, excuse me. How, uh, how say and time to remember, uh, for example, when, when I was 10 years old, I live uh, with my grandfather and his house was near in the river and one, one example and other other thing and I learned uh, how 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 uh, for example 
the devaluation and and com comparison when we make an evaluation with with the with the adjective using enough and to for example uh, when when we use uh, enough uh, the verb to be will be a negative will be a neg negative form for example uh, sedan car aren't uh, convenient enough for more for more than six people and and use and use two uh, sedan car uh, are too small for that six people for example and bueno, uh, uh, I, ha I, I, I learned how use uh, use to in, in, in my in my life. For example, in my in my childhood, I used to I used to play with play Nintendo with my brother. In my childhood, I used to uh, I I used to uh, eat uh, chicken with with rice for 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 example, and oh, <laughs> also <laughs> it, it's all. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Thank for for doing your best effort. Thank you. That was quite good, okay? Gabriela Noemi. Good evening, teacher and classmate. <laughs> um, I weekend for skate. Uh, what I'm going to, to do next weekend on Saturday, I will go to play softball with my husband. First of all, we will go to a Chinese Chinese food restaurant, and we will go to the game and have a good um, time as I uh, usually we have I love to to play softball and I enjoy when my my husband lives no, my husband loves um watching me play in the um, in the game on Sunday, we will play a game, but first of all, we will go to church. When I was little, I used to play and I, I still do. Finally, when the game is over, we get home and with that I am my weekend. Finish. Thank you very much, Gabriela. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. How do you see this, right? Okay, Otoniel. Uh, 
Hola. Ok, now we can listen Hello. to you. Sorry. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is uh, Aristide Flores. Uh, uh, this is my uh, study the English language I had learning the following. Uh, number one, who, who to use uh, did for who to use did uh, for example they used to play when you were a teenager. It is in question mode using did and used to with the verb in the present tense. I had also learned who to use verbs in the different tense. For example, play, I pleasure, and I would play. I I learned that it most to my hair to understand the expression of English. In addition to learning to pronounce words and sentences cor correctly. Final, uh, finally, I can mention that the present simple are perfect as different. For example, the present simple, she going to school every morning. And I sample on the person. Uh, on the person simple. Will be, I had just finished my exam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Lourdes. I have made a summary of all the topics. And I'm going to read because it's too much for me. Well, it has been a month of much learning. First, we study the past tense with regular and irregular verbs, formulating question and answer, and their pronunciation. Uh, for example, this is a summary. Example, when did I last go to the mountain? The answer is I went last weekend. Then, how to know to use used to. Example, I used to play tennis. Now I just work. Understand how to use count now and count no and no count now. Example, there should be more computers at the school. We need more wine in the party. Use to ask. Example, my son wants more toys. Uh, he would wish to have as many as when he was a child. How to use the verb to wish in the perfect tense and combine, combine it with a past tense. Example, I wish I could learn how to speak very good English. And the questions. Example, where is the nearest gym? Could you tell me where is the where the gym is? And next, um, use to sample past and present perfect. Have you gone the movie the theater recently? Answer, no, I went a couple years ago. Uh, we learned about the sequence adverbs, how to describe the order, order in which two or more actions happen. Using first, then, next, and finally. Example, first I get up and prepare my uh, prepare breakfast. Then I take my kid to school. Next, I work for an hour. 
And finally, I return home to have breakfast. The present perfect tense, we make a sentence assisted as by the verbs have, has, and its verb must continue, continue in the past. Have for me. Example, have you done all your homework? Also, we study contractions. Example, I had cleaned my car. When to use the present perfect tense. Now, how to use since and for. We will use since with time, days, and dates, and for for numbers. Example, I have been waiting at the bus stop for 10 minutes. Um, I haven't seen Alexia, my daughter, since last week. And finally, how to use going to and will. Example, I'm going to make dinner for my kids and I will finish the homework tomorrow. That's it. Wow, a summary. It was like a, a quiet long summary, but that was quite good to know that you have been like Studying everything we have, we have just um, a practice for for this month. Thank you, Lourdes. Was okay. quite good. Cesar. Um, teacher, I um, I create a conversation and I recording that in my cell phone and I would like to replay that and I hope you can hear that. Good, good, good idea. And I don't know why the, the first audio uh, don't, don't be able, but is here. Hello, I am Luis. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Where are you from? I'm from here, Guatemala. What about you? Great. I am from Colombia. Oh, you are so far away from your home. Yes, but I am happy standing time here. Lately, I have been visiting different tourist sites. Really? What places have you visited? I went to Rotan two weeks ago. The beach was so beautiful, and I was delighted with the food and I the local people. Then I traveled to Isalco Volcano in El Salvador. There, the landscape looked amazing. I felt relaxed into the nature. Mm, sorry, and I don't want to bore you talking a lot. No problem. I am really enjoying listening to you. Tell me more about your trips. I was swimming in the Nochitlan Lake. Then I visited Aurora Zoo. There, I was able to see many different species of animals. Oh, that's great. And how long do you plan to stay here? I think I will stay a couple of days more. By the way, do you know where the Hotel El Caminante is? Of course, just walk two blocks to the right, then you will see the China Food Restaurant and next, it is the hotel. Thank you. You are so polite. Would you like to have a few beers with me tonight? That would be great, but I have an appointment later. If you like, tomorrow I can show you some of the tourist places here. Are you serious? That would be wonderful. Yeah. It would be a pleasure for me too. Then I'll see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. 
Ok, bye. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. See you later. It's all. Thank you. Hey, that was quite good. That was a great conversation. Okay, I could I could nurse you included some grammar we studied um, these days ago, and also you you um, paid special attention in pronunciation. Great, Cesar. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. Okay, so let us listen to Ileana. Let me see. Ileana, can you listen to everybody here? Can you listen to, to me? Ileana, hello. Well, we, I don't know what happens to Ileana, but later she will have a, her opportunity to participate. Don't worry, okay? Ileana, if you are facing problems with microphone, don't worry, because if you do not participate today, you, to, tonight, you will do it tomorrow. Don't worry. Dalila? Good evening for class. Uh, it is story called Los I Find. When there was a boy and one day he find a penguin at this door. The boy didn't know where it had comfort but a pain to find it everywhere. The penguin looked said and the boy told it must be lost. So the boy decided to help the penguin find his way home. He checked in the lost and find of it but no one was we missing a penguin. He asked to be in the penguin. Come from but in the ignoring his some bird are like that. The boy asking he to, but they put flowing away. He didn't know. The night the boy couldn't say asleep for disappointment. He went, he went to hurt the penguin, but they didn't know how. The next morning, he discovered the penguin come from the sur pole. But who could he get there? He ran down the day harbor and escaped a bit cheap. They tend to stay so poor. But he boy was much to smile. To be her over the cheat her. So, so together he and the penguin were round the surpolar. But the boy thought he wrong about what or they could work and they tested it for sign and strength. They part every he would need and together they push their war war but with the sea. They rode store for many days. I night we stay by ting story and take away. The penguin listened to everything that boy said. They float that good word and bad. When they were well, it's a bit as mountain. Until they come to South Pole, the boy was the lynx, but the penguin say nothing so they is looking say again. I stay helping is all 
out of the board. It feels strange to be on his wounds. Um, they more to that, they more realized he was making beat miss. The penguin was once low, lost. He was who's learning. He, he turned the board around and heard about to take so far. I felt that he could at last he raised the poor again, but we were the penguin. The boys, the chairs, and chairs, but he was nowhere to be found. Sir, the boy set all for home. There was no point till a store because there was no one to listen except the wind and the words. But the boy, but the boy saw something in the water at all front of her own feet. Closer and closer, he got under cool, say the penguin. And so the boy and his friend went home together. Thank you, I wouldn't think I take was when there was a boy and one day he from and the penguin adored. The thing. Thank you, Dalila. Thank you. Thanks for sharing that story. Thank you very much. Let me see. Ileana? Hello, teacher. Hello, are you ready? Yes, yes, sorry. Okay, here we go. Uh, well, uh, good night, everyone. I, as the first girls, I'm going to talk about my experience when I traveled to Dominican Republic. Uh, I went there, I went to this country for seven days and it was amazing. The first day is I get lost uh, looking for the bus station when I get to Santo Domingo. I get lost looking for uh, I don't know the the name the uh, the name was uh Estrella Estrella bus station so I I get lost looking for this uh, uh on Santo Domingo to get it to Punta Cana that was my destination so I was uh, I get uh, to Punta Cana around at night. The first day uh, in this hotel that was, that its name was Walla Bravo Hotel. Um, the first day, they made parties every night. They made pool, pool parties and karaoke every night. So the first days, I I just get on my bikini and, and start to enjoy the, the party because I get there at night. And the second day, I spent the whole day in the beach, at the beach. I spent the whole day there. The third day, I was, I get in a, in a tour. It was a natural reservation, reservation, I think, a natural. Uh, and it was, the name was, uh, what wallet wallet uh, natural reservation and the fourth day i went to another tour it was i went to macau beach it was it, it is an amazing beach it's like a, a dream and it was like a dream so and the fifth day i spent the day in Santo Domingo again, it was another tour, and I uh, I spent the day tour. Then I get back to Punta Cana, and the last day in the beach, I just wanted to 
to take a nap and I I I it was like I slept for 10 hours <laughs> and when I get uh when I would uh, I get up I just uh regret about the time that I that I slept and the seventh day I came to to again to the to El Salvador And that was my experience, teacher. Thank you, Ileana. Quite good to know about your experience. Thanks for sharing that story. Margarita? Teacher, Rina Margarita, porque vemos tres Margarita. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, let, let us try with Margarita Arana. Ah, okay. okay. And then Idalia Margarita, okay? All right. Bye. Uh, my history. Uh, I went to the beach yesterday. I have traveled with my family. My aunt asked how the weather is. She did did not want to go if it rained because uh, she used to work a lot of when she was a kid. We saw many birds in the sea, but there was too much pollution from plastic waste. There should be less gar garbage. Can you tell me where to report? So the beach is not as polluting as the city. The pollution is the popula population is not collaborate enough. Finish. Thank you, Margarita. Thank you very much. Give me a second. Now, then I say Ileana, right? No. Idalia. Idalia Margarita. Okay. My name is Idalia Margarita. I live in Cotepeque. I am teacher. I am studying in the University of Salvador. The thing I like to do are good dancing and see a movie, go to the beach, go out for a dinner, beat his friend out of town. When I was a child, used to play with neighbors every weekend. I didn't use to play with computer games or tones because I was always playing football, double or hide and seek. I didn't use to talk. Mm, I didn't use to talk the school bus because my mother took me to a school and I was every happy for that for that because she always bought me an ice cream in the shop. I did used to listen to my parents, but now I don't miss the time I spend with them. In this course I learned the following topic, simple, simple past tenses, um, how to pour, um, positive, um, we cook it dinner, uh, the children, children, a, a, um, negative, 
They didn't like the food well. My mother didn't write the letter to the principal. Question. Did you wash the car? Did he eat hamburger? And another subject. Present perfect. And for example, um, um, where have you been? And Tom has working there for them. And Michelle hasn't had anything to eat yet today. And um, another topic. And um, will and I'm going to and finish. Thank you very much, Idalia. Thanks for doing your best effort. I can notice that you have been practicing for your presentation, okay? Yeah, okay. Wendy, Wendy wants to participate. Thank you very much, Idalia. Wendy, go ahead. Teacher, sorry. And that moment I have enough, I have enough without because my two down hearts have half a stick. Oh, I'm sorry to know about it. But I, I, I to do my homework. Thank you. Thank for sharing your homework. Okay. Okay. Um, I to say the weather in this month in October. When I was a child, um, I was about two years old. Uh, my brother and I used to go out during this time of an October um, to enjoy the weather in the park. This month is always more um, pleasant because of its uh, wind. Um, I remember that we used to play at racing, at racing, um, how do you say, Piscucha? A great kite? A racing Piscucha or Cometa, teacher? Yeah, kites. Kite, okay. Uh, before we had fun games, but now many chill, many children are distracted by the phone and technology. Another, another place. But before we were used to running and jumping. And we never used to be on the phone. I remember that they didn't exist too. I wish those moments um, I would come back. Only that teacher. Thank you, Wendy. It's very admirable, right? Thanks for sharing your homework. Thanks for being for being very responsible. No, uh, I mean, and we hope we hope your children get better soon. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Then we have Olga. Teacher. Hello. Yes. Okay, go ahead. My time, I say that my learning is a slow, but consider that I have learning in this house example pronunciation of 
regular verbs, past, I used to do it in conversation. I can using used use to, and I have experience because of my weakness. I have a translator, a slider, and a small use. I feel nervous. Oh, okay, Olga. That was it? Finished. Okay, I, I can nurse you're nervous, but don't worry, okay? Little <laughs> by little. Little by little, you're gonna you're gonna do it better day by day. You will see. But thanks oh. for sharing your uh, I mean your information. Okay. Then, then we have uh, Claudia Margarita. Yes, good evening, everyone. Uh, in my case, I did a summary about the topics. Um, in this model, I learned a lot. I learned how to talk about the past, using simple past, past would be, past used to. Uh, some examples are I ate pupusa yesterday. I was born in El Salvador. I used to play soccer with my cousins. Also, I learned about cons and no cons nouns. For example, for con nouns, we can use too many, and for no con nouns, we can use too much. Another topic I learned is about indirect questions. It's a more polite way to ask for information. A few common question phrase for indirect question are, could you tell me? Do you know? Can you tell me? Uh, for example, excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest bus stop is? Also, I learned how to express wishes in English to talk about things which we want. Example, I don't like this house. I wish I live somewhere more beautiful. Another topic I learned is about present perfect and present perfect continuous. We use both the present perfect simple and the present perfect continuous to talk about past action or state which are still connected to present. Uh, to form the present perfect tense, you need the verb have or has, depending on which personal pronoun you are referring to. You also need the past participle of the verb you want to use in the past perfect tense. And finally, I learned about the future would be going to and will. And when your plans are defi definite, use going to. And when you dream of doing something, you can use will. That's all. Thank you very much, Claudia, Margarita. Thank you. Uh, Liliana. Teacher, you say Ileana or Iliana? I said Liliana. Ah, sorry. Uh, but, uh -huh. but Iliana, are you ready, Iliana? I already passed, teacher. Uh, you, you already participated, right? Yeah. Okay. So, well, Liliana, I think Liliana is missing, right? Mm, but I don't know. Maybe she's facing problems with microphone. But, you know, tomorrow we're going to have, we're going to take a couple of minutes to give the opportunity for people who didn't participate tonight. Uh, well, we have Chrissy over here. Hello. Hello. Okay. I'm going to tell you a little bit about an experience I have in in the year uh, 2014. First, I must tell you that I have always liked the communication area. 
but it has always been just to like it and nothing else. But one day, uh, when I was listening to the radio, there was an announcement that there was going to be a contest called announcer for a day. And I said, mm, it's a nice opportunity, but I don't know if I want to participate. Um, a few days passed and I decided to see now. I was scared because I have never done anything like this before. Then, then everything started. First, I went to the meeting where they explained how everything could be. After that, we all introduced ourselves and most of us had already been in communication. And I said, there is no change for you, Christian, but let's try it. Uh, first, uh, well, so uh, the first day they did a test. They put us to read a paragraph. Then they say they will call us, call, call us. They choose 10 people and there I was. Then they started the classes, tests and exam for a month. And after that, it was the final and they choose the first three plays. I was very nervous, but finally I made it. I made it. Uh, they gave me the second place and I was very happy. I did only four shifts in the radio because in the end, sadly, they closed it. But it was the best experience in my life. I learned something on that occasion and that is that you have to um, overcome your fears and that was my experience teacher overcoming fears okay why now is there anybody else missing thank you Christian that was a great experience Especially because you provided a piece of advice at the end. Now, uh, I don't know. I remember there are some people who are still missing. Liliana, are you ready? Who's missing people? Well, I will check list attendance and then I, I will provide so, a couple of um, tips or Something that I consider you can you can improve, right? Uh, Aristides. Okay. Carlos David. Present teacher. Cesar. Present teacher. Claudia Margarita. Present teacher. Lourdes. I'm here. Dalila. Present teacher. Elena Marisol. Gabriela Noemi. Present teacher. Idalia. Present teacher. Ileana. Present teacher. Ingrid Morena. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Crisia Morena. Thank you. Liliana Dolores. Uh, Maria Magdalena. Present teacher. Olga. Present teacher. Rina Margarita. Present teacher. Wendy Beatriz. Wendy, Wendy. Ah, oh, Wendy, so here, good. Uh, well, two people missed tonight. Ingrid and Elena Marisol. I remember I saw Elena here. Yeah. Elena's yeah, Elena's here, right? Elena Marisol, you can say hello, please. Elena. Uh, she wrote on the chat. She wrote on the ah, chat. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. So Elena. Present. Who said present? 
Aristides. Ah, Aristides, good. Sorry. Okay, only Ingrid then. It's missing tonight. Well, people, meanwhile you were presenting, I was working. Elena Marisol, Wendy, all right. Thanks, I saw I saw the info in the chat. I will share something with you just for you to notice about what, what's coming tomorrow, right? Liliana Mina, okay. Yeah, Liliana. I, don't worry, Liliana. I, I already checked your your the assistance. The list is attendance, sorry. Liliana, okay. Now, people, meanwhile, you were presenting, I was just taking notes about some observations, okay? So as you as you see, I was just working in um something that I consider you can you can improve. Okay, no se preocupen porque ya la hora ya se nos, se nos terminó prácticamente, pero quiero quiero dejarles claro que mientras ustedes estaban eh, presentando, yo estaba como tomando apuntes de algunas cosas por acá. Okay, algunas algunas observaciones. Okay, que yo considero le va, a ser, le va a servir mucho en los próximos niveles. Ok, para saludar y decir buenas noches, decimos good evening. Good night, recordemos que es para despedirse. Good night es para irnos a dormir. Ok, good night. No se preocupen que no me fui en orden. Yo fui escribiendo así, ah, perdón, digitando, fui moviendo esto, de repente alguien participaba por acá, de ahí yo le escribía por acá, o sea, aquí hay un no lo hice en orden, ok de tal modo que ustedes no, no reconocieran que, o dijeran bueno, eso yo lo dije, yo me equivoqué en esto no, Entonces, no se trata de apuntar a nadie, sino que esto se trata de apuntar algunos al, algunas áreas de mejora ok, de eso se trata vale, fíjense que cuando hablan Solo voy a hacer esta observación y ya mañana voy a continuar con, con, con esto, ¿ok? Al, acá puse como, como algunas frases que, que hay que mejorar con la gramática. Y también coloqué algunas observaciones con pronunciación, ¿ok? Y también coloqué algo mm, respecto a la, a la fluidez, Okay, pero solo para que se hagan una idea de lo, del repaso que vamos a hacer mañana. Recuérdense que mañana vamos a hacer repaso del examen final. Lo tienen que completar esta misma noche si aún no lo han hecho. Para que mañana solo tengamos el repaso y lo, y lo podamos enlazar con, el, con estas observaciones. <risa> But, si yo les digo, hey, the first time I get lost. Sucede algo con esa frase. ¿O todo está bien? And I get lost, creo que sería I got lost. Ok. Algo que yo considero que podemos mejorar es como tener muy, muy clara la idea de lo que queremos expresar. Ok. Porque la idea, ok, yo la tengo la primera vez que me perdí. Ok, está bien la idea pero la gramática no está bien, ¿ok? Y como estamos hablando de pasado, hay que usar el verbo en pasado. First time I got lost, I got lost. ¿Ok? Segundo, segundo ejercicio por acá, ustedes lo van a ir corrigiendo. We were used to do it. We used to do it. Ah, ok. Bien. Esto no es necesario. We used to do it. Y acá le vamos a cambiar la E por la O. Catch. Ok, nos vamos a quedar por ahí. No se preocupen que esto lo vamos a ver mañana. Un poquito más a detalle. Ok, voy a guardar este, este documento para que lo podamos ver mañana. Eh, sin embargo, el objetivo era, es siempre enfocarnos en que ustedes mismos se den cuenta de cuánto van avanzando, 
ya mañana cerramos el, el nivel y para mí, en lo particular, me interesa que ustedes mismos vayan, vayan evaluándose. Ok, ¿cuánto aprendí? Eh, ¿Fue significativo lo que vi en este mes? ¿Me va a servir mucho? ¿Lo pongo en práctica? Um, o sea, necesito que ustedes se vayan evaluando, ¿verdad? Se vayan autoevaluando. Eh, de esa manera, ustedes son conscientes de su aprendizaje y, pues, más algunas recomendaciones que yo les pueda brindar, pues, ahí se va, se va complementando una idea bien generalizada de los avances que ustedes están teniendo. Eh, por el momento nos quedamos acá. Si hay alguna eh, observación, algún comentario, alguna pregunta, la hacemos. Si no, pues nos quedamos por acá y mañana seguimos, ¿ok? ¿Les parece? Ok. Ok, okay. okay teacher. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night, teacher. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. God willing. God willing.